In this video we're going to be looking at energy level diagrams. So energy level diagrams sound complicated but really they're just pictures or graphs that show how much energy each part of a reaction has. So if we were looking at an exothermic reaction this is what we would expect it to look like. We would expect the reactions to be here, the products to be down here. Um, this line going across here is the reaction progressing, so this is it starting, this is it finishing, and this is just how much energy they have. And remember for an exothermic reaction we're going to have a negative value. So for an endothermic reaction we're going to have a positive value, the reactants are going to start down here and then our products are going to be up here. Just to recap quickly, in an exothermic reaction your reactants are going to have more energy, energy is going to be released so it's going to feel hot. In an endothermic reaction the products have more energy, energy is going to be taken in and it's going to feel cold. So. You might be wondering what that hump um, in the graph is. Instead of just drawing our um, graph like that, something happens, which means we have to have this hump in. And this difference from here to here is called the activation energy. The activation energy is just the energy that it needs to get started, like um, when you wake up in the morning it's really hard to get out of bed, the, the, first, the, the actual first getting out of bed bit is sometimes the hardest bit, that's the activation energy, or the activation energy you find to actually um, sit down at your desk and start advising, sometimes that can be the hardest bit. The other graph that you need to be familiar with is one that looks like this, where we have a big hump and a little hump. So the big hump in red is our uncatalyzed reaction, and our um, a little hump in brown is our catalyzed reaction. A more sophisticated definition um, for the catalyzed reaction, which we have here, um, is that a catalyst lowers the activation energy. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.